Hello everybody, it's Tanner Fishies here, back again with a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the potential return of Skylar in Ninjago Season 16, or even a season beyond that one, and why the Ninjago community reception seems to be split 50-50, with some Ninjago fans absolutely longing Skylar to return, while other Ninjago fans are very much dreading that return for Skylar. First things first, I must clarify, nothing in this video is going to be 100% confirmed information. Skylar is not confirmed to be returning anytime time soon. However, we do have a lot of rumors and speculation based on those rumors that actually suggest that Skylar will indeed return at some point. Not only that, she will actually be a main member of the cast, maybe even joining the ninja team. Now, like I said, we don't have any confirmed information. However, we do have reliable sources such as Tommy Andreessen and some other people that work on the show. They've been dropping various clues and hints throughout the past couple of months regarding Skylar and season 16, the future of Ninjago, etc, etc. So we're going to be taking all of that into account here and just assuming for the purpose of this video that Skylar will indeed return in season 16 or another season down the line. Now what exactly is so wrong about this? Before we discuss what's wrong about this, I think we need to discuss why people are very excited, especially people like myself who are big Skylar fans. Now I myself, if you guys have seen my content, you would know that I am a huge Skylar fan. I just really enjoy her personality, her power set, and the actual roles that she's played throughout several Ninjago seasons. She's made cameo appearances in a lot of Ninjago stories such as Possession, Skybound, Hunted, and most recently Seabound. She actually appeared during Nia's funeral. It was the first time that we had seen her in the Wild Brain animation, and admittedly she does kind of look off, but I think that's just because we're not used to seeing her in this animation style, so she's going to look a little wonky when we first see her, which is the case with this image here. Now with Skylar's return, there are definitely those on the other end of the spectrum, like I said, those that are actually somewhat upset that Skylar is coming back, or at least she might be, and that has to do with her replacing Nia. Now Nia, like I said, at the end of season 15, unlocked her new NRG form and decided to jump into the ocean and basically become one with her element. She basically was water. She was a pure elemental representation of water. She was no longer Nia, master of water. She was just simply water. As such, she was no longer a ninja, to say the least and to put it lightly. And obviously the team held a memorial and funeral for her, so it's not like she's going to be coming back anytime soon. I imagine that Nia will come back at some point, but the reason why people are so upset is because Skylar is potentially going to be coming in and replacing Nia, which was something that I had suggested a long time ago. Now, Ninjago fans are kind of notorious for arguing, uh, drama, etc., but of course that's kind of every fan base. Every fan base has those moments where people just disagree, and that's okay. But Nia fans are very defensive over Nia from what I've seen, especially on websites such as Twitter, Instagram, Discord. Nia fans are kind of excessive. Not every Nia fan, but a couple of them. A couple of bad apples, if you will. Now, these fans in particular are very upset that Nia is potentially going to be replaced by Skylar, but to me, that makes sense. I'm not really sure what the big argument is here. I can tell that some people just don't want to let go of Nia, and I do agree that the series itself is not done with Nia just yet. She's probably going to come back in future stories, and I would not be surprised if we see her even next season try to come back to the team. I would very much welcome her with open arms. However, I very much am looking forward to giving Skylar a chance to prove herself here. Now, if Skylar does indeed come back and become a ninja, I feel like that's definitely going to make a lot of Nia fans not so happy. For Skylar fans like myself though, I think it's basically perfect. We've been wanting this for a very long time, and since Nia has left the team, this pretty much creates an open spot, whether it be Skylar or a different elemental master. I'm not sure who else would replace Nia though. Now in regards to Skylar's return, like I said, we have actually been seeing a lot of rumors regarding that. Tommy Andreessen has tweeted out that Skylar's powers are definitely going to be explored in a future season, meaning that she'll probably probably come back, unless they do a season where they break down every single elemental power, Skylar's powers are probably going to be showcased a little more, meaning that she's going to have to be there to showcase her powers, meaning that she's probably going to come back and at least assist the ninja in some regard. I'm not saying that you need to completely get rid of Nia in order to make Skylar a ninja, I would very much appreciate it if both characters could be on the same team, but Skylar replacing Nia I honestly don't see an issue with, especially if it's only a temporary thing. We all know that Nia is probably going to come back at some point and that's totally okay okay by me. I really enjoyed her character in Seabound, so I hope she actually does come back, but for the time being, the ninja team is down one member. They only have five ninja, why not bring in a sixth ninja to replace Nia just for a temporary position? And that's where Skylar comes in. So because of that, I think it's safe to say that Skylar will definitely be returning at some point. Whether or not she'll be a ninja, though, is up in the air. If it were up to me and if I were to actually integrate Skylar into my own version of Season 16, I would very much love it to go as follows. What if the reason why Skylar decides to come back and assist the ninja is 
because of Kai. Now, Kai himself is very much rumored to be the focus ninja of season 16. A lot of people want Kai to have his own story, and following the departure of his sister Nia, who he couldn't really protect anymore, I think that would be a very good place to bring Kai's character. Explore how he's dealing with Nia's loss and have Skylar come in to assist Kai emotionally and comfort him. I think that'd make for a very interesting thing. We also know, judging from various Ninjago hints dropped by people that work on the show, that there will indeed be a little bit of romance in the next season of Ninjago, meaning that Kai and Skylar's relationship might be expanded on a little more. We also know that Kai and Nia's relationship is going to be expanded on as well, so why not go ahead and explore that in this season too? Have Kai explore the relationship with his sister and have him be comforted by his love interest, Skylar. I really want to see where their relationship develops, and I think having Skylar come back to assist Kai emotionally is a great way to go ahead and segue into that romance aspect of the season. I think this season will indeed focus on Kai, and it will probably explore how he's feeling following Nia's departure, and of course Skylar will be there for emotional support. Not only that, but why not actually have her utilize her power set and become a temporary ninja. I think that would very much work out. If it were up to me, season 16 would be based entirely on the ending of the Vengestone arc, which we have a rumor for as well. We know that season 16 will be the conclusion to something, and a lot of us Ninjago fans are just assuming that it's going to be the conclusion to the Vengestone arc, which was established during season 13. Have Skylar join in on the ninja team during season 16, and have the next season focus on Nia. You could totally touch on that during season 16 as well. You can touch on how the ninja feeling after Nia's departure, but let's have her return in season 17. Let's give Skylar a chance to become a ninja. I think that'd be awesome, even if it's just for one season. Yeah, that'd be cool. Skylar's power sets actually allow her to be a very important asset to the team, and she could totally do a lot more than some of the other characters can right now, especially with the right amount of power and the right amount of borrowed elemental strength as well. I imagine fight scenes in which the ninja fire off large blasts of elemental energy, and Skylar just kind of borrows power after power. Using her ability to make those elemental powers her own. Obviously, the power of Amber will be explored a little more in the future, so I think this is a very good opportunity, especially for Skylar's character. For Nia's character, I will admit that it's not really the best thing ever if she's not even in the next season of Ninjago, but to be fair, Nia had the entirety of season 15 to grow and develop, which I totally believe that she did. Following season 15's finale, have Skylar come in, replace Nia for just a little bit, and then have Nia return at a different point in time, retake her place among the ninja, and have Skylar depart like that. That way it's kind of the best of both worlds. Skylar fans get to see Skylar become a ninja for a little bit of time and actually work on the team and actually utilize her own powers within the team's power sets, and then Nia fans get her return and Nia's reintroduction to the team. She'll probably reassume her position as the water ninja, the sixth ninja on the ninja team, and Skylar will probably not be around anymore after that. Best case scenario, Skylar returns in season 16, joins the ninja, and then Nia comes back in season 17 maybe even a future season down the line, and the team consists of the original four ninja, plus Lloyd, plus Skylar, plus Nia. That would be my dream setup for season 16. Will it happen like that? Probably not but I'm hoping for the best. Either way though, I don't feel like Ninjago fans need to be upset over Skylar's potential return. I don't think Nia fans need to be upset over Skylar's potential return, because like I said, Nia leaving is probably just a temporary thing, unless it's permanent, which I would be very surprised. But a lot of us Ninjago fans are just assuming that it's going to be temporary, that seems to be the most likely option right now, and because it's temporary, it means that Nia is going to be coming back. I don't think that Nia fans need to be putting Skylar fans down, I don't think that Skylar fans need to be putting Nia fans down. I think we we should all just be able to respectfully disagree and move on with our lives in that regard. Everybody owns their opinions and their actions, so clearly what I say might not mean much, but I hope it does, I hope it means something, and I hope that we can get along in the comments regarding this. I'm very much excited to see what the future holds for Skylar's character, and Nia will probably come back as well. I don't think there needs to be a lot of clashing here. Both characters can exist simultaneously, and in fact both characters could even be ninja. That would be my dream ending for this whole uh, Skylar versus Nia thing. But let me know what you think about this down below in the comments. I've kind of talked about this enough for one video today. Thank you so much for checking out this one. Let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are regarding Skylar's return. Do you think Skylar will return in season 16 and take up the mantle of the sixth ninja? And how do you feel like that will conflict with Nia, or even if it will? Do you think Nia will come back and join up with the team again, or do you feel like we're not going to see Nia for a very long time? Leave all your thoughts down below, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. That's basically going to do it for this one here today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again the marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video once again. My name is Hannah Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell. Mm -hmm.